Hello and welcome back to the founder. Kezia is with me today. That is from CBP by Kez. Hi. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm great. How are you? I'm good too. So tell me about this. I, I got super excited. First of all, CBP, one of my favorite desserts. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually a post quarantine operation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so while I was home and obviously in lockdown, I was kind of bored mm -hmm. outside of work. So what I would do is with my mom, I would just be experimenting on things at home with like food, going, going and baking things or whatever it is. But CVP has been something I've been good at mm -hmm. from little days, um, thanks to my mom. So um, I just took the plunge and decided to um, start taking orders okay. for CVP because I started making it for like normal occasions, like family occasions mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay. And it became a huge hit with my family. And my family, they love their food. Yeah. So for me, it was the biggest thing. And then my friends were like, you know, you should start doing it. You should start taking orders. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just took the plunge and I just said, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. And I started with just the original chocolate biscuit pudding. Okay. So it's not like your normal chocolate biscuit pudding because mm -hmm. there's no butter involved. Okay. Which is what makes it um, an extra hit okay. with uh, my customers so far. So then I started expanding into other flavors and I started infusing Baileys into it. And now that's actually one of the biggest uh, sellers that I have on okay. board with CVP. Yeah. All right. So this actually just started as a hobby, as you said. Yeah. Uh, so, um, well, it's it's pretty, pretty cool that you like decided to do that, uh, especially during quarantine. You have a lot of time and uh, you were probably off work as well, right? No. Um, you were still working? I was working okay. because uh, my, where I work, I'm a digital marketing okay. specialist. So digital at the time was like full, full on. Right? Okay. Happening. Yeah. So we had a lot of work going on. You had a lot on. of work. Um, but of course, um, in spare time, I would just, you know, if I want to de-stress or something, it would just be, you know, going, checking out these new recipes and making things and stuff. And then CBP happened to be an often de dessert that was happening at home. Okay. So that's how it happened. Yeah. And who uh, orders mostly? It's just basically your family members, is it? And your mm -hmm. friends? Yeah. Well, initially, of course, for support purposes, my family. Yes. <laughs> And then uh, I, my friends were lovely enough to order and share it with their friends. So currently it's more word of mouth mm -hmm. than social media. I mean, I do a little bit of social media, you know, marketing or whatever, but I don't focus too much on it. Okay. Um, I just have a lot of uh, word of mouth uh, customers coming in, okay. so, which is great. So which means I know people are talking about it. And yeah. that's what makes me happy actually, to know people are talking about it and actually ordering, so yeah. So like after you basically spread out the word of mouth, did you decide to make flyers and did you decide to open up a page or whatnot just to get it out there? So for me to start, what I did was I initially made a page and then started because I feel like, you know, now you have so many uh, dessert outlets to like home bakers and this market is quite saturated, right? Yeah. Um, so I just, made a page and I thought okay let me have my own identity on it and I just started posting pictures of like CBP right and I just pushed it out like that but there was no like you know crazy marketing or anything like that happening it was just like I said word of mouth so I haven't really gone to the extent of making flyers mm -hmm. or anything like that yet but with the season coming up, there are a few exciting things I have planned out. Oh, very which nice. Which are going to okay. be coming up on my page soon. Okay, so, so yeah. until this time, that's of course from July, from the time you started till now, uh, how has your business grown? It's been great. So initially, like I told you, I just started with the original CBP because in all honesty, I um, the coming into the food industry like this is quite new to me. So anybody who knows me would be like, what <laughs> like you, you're now selling food <laughs> like you know it's, it's it's a surprise to me as well so what are the challenges you faced in the beginning right so um for me it would definitely have been quantity mm -hmm. and pricing oh okay so what i think of when it comes to dessert is let's say you go out mm -hmm. and you see some really nice looking dessert but it's also really pricey. Yeah. But it's also kind of small. Small, yeah. So then you want to buy it and you're like, do I need to spend that much on something that looks like that? <laughs> do I really need do it? Do I really need it, you know? So I don't want to do that with my customers. So I do give generous portions mm -hmm. and price at a good amount as well. 
so i don't want them to feel like oh my god we've had this and now it's not enough or something like that okay so that would have been that was a major challenge because i had to obviously figure out the pricing strategy well enough yeah. to be generous mm-hmm. and also have an affordable um pricing for yeah it. so that yeah. was a huge challenge actually Okay. okay. Worked out well, thankfully. <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. And how do you usually uh, sell uh, your sabiqin? Does it come in like a big tray, or do you get like portion sizes? So I do. Um, I just switched. I was using plastic um, small containers, and okay. so now I'm just getting out of plastic because I feel like that needs to go, and I'm oh, changing brilliant. to glass uh, jars, okay. dessert jars. Oh, yum. Yeah. So there's the small dessert jar and then there's also the medium foil tray okay and the large and foil the large tray. Foil yeah tray. Okay. so it worked out well so if you want like for a party like a lot of people you can have a large if yeah it's just your home folk it's just the medium and then if it's just for you it's just jar. awesome yeah awesome so this next question actually is from our venue sponsor the colombo cooperative they're all about providing modern workspaces and this is all for companies of all sizes as well they would like to know what your number one value in business and in life is i think honesty mm-hmm. and i genuinely mean it mm-hmm. so when it comes to cbp uh, whatever you see is what you get what you get okay. there's no camouflaging there so the pictures you see to what's put out to the details is exactly what you're going to get so that's something i really want uh, I really believe in like you know because I don't want people to see something and then get something else you know and yeah. then just be like what that's not what I wanted <laughs> yeah. so that's very important to me that's honestly. a good one yeah so Kezia what really inspired you to do all this so it's actually quite a funny story all right a couple of years ago actually quite a long time ago um I was at a gym <laughs> I was at a gym I was just getting on the treadmill and I suddenly craved CBP <laughs> It's very weird. So I called my mom and I while on the treadmill I was like, "Mom, mama, can you make some CBP?" I feel like I've been <laughs> in this situation before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then she's just like, "You just went to work out." I was just like, "Just make CBP when I get home." And she's like, "Okay." So I went home yeah. all excited, excited to go have CBP and there it was in the fridge a nice tray of CBP. Oh. Yeah. So I served myself some CBP and I kid you not it didn't taste like normal cbp what do you mean like you know normal cbp that you would find very buttery right, right? it's very buttery and very icingish like in your yeah. mouth it sticks around yeah but this was just so smooth like a cream like okay the, yeah it was just amazing so i got hooked on the cbp after that <laughs> okay and i kept pestering her and i was just like how what did you do what did yeah, you do yeah, what yeah. did what, you do what's different and then she told me she told me she doesn't use butter there's no ice and sugar yeah. and there's no eggs that's all i'm going to say <laughs> so, yeah and then i just picked on it and i would it was so easy to okay. make actually mm-hmm. so i just started picking up on that and i started making it like whenever i felt like you know i wanted it or whenever i wanted to go out with my friends or something like that dinner things like yeah. i would just make it and people actually enjoyed, enjoyed it, it. And they would say the same thing yeah. that it's not the same cbp you would have <laughs> so for me that was like mm. yeah, so yeah, that, yeah the inspiration came from my mom because she's an amazing cook and like i can't keep up with her cooking for sure okay but like that's from where my inspiration came All right. from yeah so i kind of want to know what is your ideal biscuit pudding can you like tell me from scratch like do you like the biscuits to be soaked do you like it to be dry you know because so- certain people have different ways of making it yeah, right yeah. and uh, well people like it uh, you know you get the texture as yeah, well yeah. so what is your ideal cpp so for me my ideal cpp is well soaked biscuit well soaked biscuit right okay. so cuz the the cream is yeah. actually like a mousse Mhm. For CBP by kids. So I the the cream is very moussey. Mhm. And then when you have soft biscuits, it's just really smooth. Yeah. And you don't get stuffed by it or soft right, toast right. cuz like most of my uh customers would say, you know, they would order more. Order more. <laughs> because usually when you have so much sweets, you're just like, oh my god. Yeah, you're sometimes when you just yeah. have too much, you just yeah. can't like you're stuffed, you're stuffed. <laughs> and then you, know? you feel bad yeah. later too. <laughs> yeah, and then you feel like you had too much. Yeah. But this doesn't fill you up. Okay. You can just happily eat as much as you want, which is <laughs> A great thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm craving that CBP right now. But uh, <laughs> tell me about what you think is success to you. To me, success actually is people being happy right. after having my CBP. Oh. <laughs> that just makes me like really, really happy. That's And for the me, ultimate. I feel like my job 
has been done well. Yeah. If I get a comment from someone saying your CBP was really good and they genuinely mean it, yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm I'm open to any feedback because I I mean I've just started and I would love people to tell me right. what improvements I should mm-hmm. make. But I think that would definitely be success for me. Just having people happy about it and talking about it and that's it. I mean, I get it. It's the ultimate satisfaction, Absolutely. right? And uh, well, of course, there are quite a lot of people out there like yourself who want to do their own thing, who want to start up their own business. Maybe they are uh, very skilled in making uh, CBP or anything, but they have like probably not really gotten the idea to actually go out there. What kind of advice would you like give them? So. If you look at me, for example, like I mentioned before, nobody would see me as, you know, getting into the food industry and trying to sell like what yeah. I've made. Exactly. So that was a huge risk and a plunge I've taken that I never thought I will. So what I wanted, I would like to tell people that, you know, have these ideas, you have an idea, do it. Mm-hmm. Like the worst that could happen is it might not happen, but at least, you know, you tried it out. Yeah. So, you know, don't don't just waste time. If you have something, do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Just do it. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Kezia. Can you please tell us where we can find your uh, scrumptious CBP? So, I'm on Instagram mm-hmm. and Facebook as CBP by Kez. Okay. And, of, of course, people can call me up on this certain number and pre-order. Right. Okay. So, yeah. It's always better to pre-order, right? Always better. I prefer a day in advance. A, a day in advance. Yeah, okay. Because and I the, like to make yeah. it fresh. I don't like keeping it stacked yeah, in the fridge course. and like, you know, so I just make it then and then. Just and have that. you already got like a, qu- a lot of orders for the season? I do actually, oh, I nice. do. <laughs> I do, I do. I've got quite a lot of orders and I told you I have something interesting coming up. Okay, is it a surprise? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, super excited and, uh, and I think I'm going to be ordering from you Great. very soon. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. That was of course Kezia. Uh, make sure you check out CBP by Kez. Thank <laughs> you.